And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over the best players at each position in Madden 20, guys. Now, you know I like to do this video here and there. Now, I haven't done it in a little bit. Which makes perfect timing because of all the golden tickets and all the draft players we had. It's going to be super fun to go through each position and show you guys who I think are the best players. Now, I'm also going to give you guys some advice on players that could potentially take that throne pretty soon. Because, you know, obviously, if I only do this video like once every three weeks or once a month, there's going to be players that come out that my list will be behind. So, I'm going to give you guys some in-depth, like, tips towards players that will be coming that could take that throne in the near future. But, always a fun video to do. But let's get into this nice and quick because you do know this video could take a little bit if I do stall the beginning a little bit here. So i got to make sure I get this through quickly. But guys, if you're into the channel, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below and like this video, guys, if you haven't been enjoying the content. Now, let's head on over to the quarterbacks to start the game, or the list, I should say. Now, best quarterback in the game at this moment in time, you got to go with one guy, and that's Michael Vick. RG3 is good, but Michael Vick's better. Michael Vick can make any throw has a strong arm, and is super fast. Now, there's one guy who could overtake him that will be the Lamar Jackson quarterback that's coming out. That golden ticket is going to be right there. But Le Michael Vick's just game-changing. Like, compared to Mahomes, he's faster than Mahomes. He's got the same throw power as Mahomes. He has better short accuracy than Mahomes, better medium accuracy than Mahomes, same deep accuracy as Mahomes, worse throw under pressure than Mahomes, same throw on the run when they both get chemmed up, and the play action is better. So he beats Mahomes literally everywhere. Besides, like, one stat that matters, which is just throw under pressure. Then, if you're going down the agilities and 99 beats him there, acceleration 99 beats him there, awareness 99, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, jumping 91, elusiveness 96, ball carry vision 97, stiff arm 65, spin move 90, and juke move 96. He literally just destroys Mahomes in every facet of this. Guys, no brainer. RG3 is the best. I mean, sorry, Michael Vick's the best one. Next up would be Lamar Jackson. And if you want to go uh, affordable, Mahomes, probably, yeah. Coming to running back, guys, personally, Bo Jackson's got to be the best one. Now, again, if you're, if you're an average guy, go, go with Barry Sanders. But Bo Jackson, this card's just r ridiculous. Like, you compare him to uh, my Saquon Barkley, and he has three better speed, better way better speed and acceleration, which at the end of the day, powered up and chemed up. Okay, so powered up and chemed up, everything's going to be the same all the way down to ball um, break tackle now here's the one thing i gotta say bo jackson is not overpowered as people think because if you if you came up both of them power both of them whatever you can't power bo jackson they end up with the same speed and the same excel the same agility the same carrying saquon actually beats him in catching slightly worse looseness same break tackle the only thing you literally you're paying six million coins for a plus like 11 truck that's it and i don't truck so for me personally I, I i would be fine without this card i don't really see the the purpose for myself i'm more than fine with my saquon barkley or my Barry Sanders. Fullback, Krishna Okoye is way too expensive. Not going to go over him because fullback, I mean, a lot of people don't really care for them, but Okoye is still the best one. Speed, uh, speed combo. Wide receiver is not Jerry Rice. It is not Devin Hester. I, I, I guys, I can't even, I can't even say Kelvin Benjamin is worth it, in my opinion. Those are not the receivers I'm currently taking for my team. For, in my opinion, personally, there's some great receivers right now. Now, let's find at least one of them here. Now, Odell's honestly pretty good. Odell's super fast. Pretty good stats, pretty good route running, but again, not great enough for me. Like my personal combo right now, this is what I'm rocking with that I think is a good affordable combo. I like my Tory Holt. I really love my Tory Holt. I love using my Tory Holt. Great route, amazing, phenomenal route running. Great catching, great jumping, grazing speed. Then I have Tyree Kill as like my pure speed guy. Just for speed, that's all I care about. And he can catch enough. And then Calvin's my jump ball, catch it all kind of receiver. Now, if you really want to get another catch all type of receiver, if you have the right chems in your team, Jerry Rice could take that potential Calvin spot, maybe not exactly. Uh, Jerry Rice kind of going to be a mixture for everyone of like a Tory Holt and a Calvin. Catch very well, can be pretty fast, great route runner. But I'm not really a fan of the Jerry of Jerry Rice and Madden. But that's pretty much it for wide receiver. Again, like I said, it's really preference based, but follow a similar mold and you'll do pretty good. Um, tight end Tony Gonzalez is a monster, but that speed is way too slow. So for me right now, I think the best for me tight end of the game by a landslide is going to be this Evan Ingram. It's Evan Ingram, good route running, great catching, 93 speed. Powered up and chemmed up. This card will have a 97 speed. That's unreal, unreal 97 speed for a tight end. 
Card's, card's ridiculous, guys. You can't go wrong there. I'm not gonna go over lineman again. Just buy the best lineman. Like, if you want to go, there's gonna be always two. There's gonna be like a ultimate legend. There's gonna be a draft promo one. One's gonna be a good pass blocker. One's gonna be a good run blocker. One's gonna be a mix. If you do both, get both. If you do one, get one. It's very simple. I don't want to waste my time on lineman because that could take forever for things that people are gonna end up doing their own anyways. I honestly love Michael Strahan. People don't like Michael Strahan. I think he's phenomenal. But um, if you like, you always could go with a power pass to get him. But this card's great in my opinion. You compare him to my current Michael Strahan. Plus four, plus three speed, plus three excel, plus three strength, plus three tackle, plus three play rec, plus four block shed, plus two power move, and plus four, a three finesse move. So power up and chem dub, this card will end up getting like an 88 speed. Which is great. So he's gonna be super athletic, gonna have 99 block shin, 99 power move. Gonna be great. Gonna be a great pass rusher, run stuff. You're gonna be good at everything. And he's Michael Strahan. And I'm a Giants fan, which probably uh, you know, helps with that a little bit in my in my eyes. Right, guys, Miles Garrett is amazing. Only thing that's close is Aaron Donald. They're both very comparable cards. Let me show you guys right here. So start from the bottom. Finesse move is the same. It's gonna be the same. Power move is the same. Block shed is actually powered up and chemmed up. Will end up being the same as well, just about. Play rec is going to be worse. Tackle is going to be worse. Strength is going to be the same. Now, where he gets him, if at the end of the day, it comes down to Miles Garrett is going to have a plus two speed on Aaron Donald. If you want slightly more speed, you can get it, but... And he gets a 99. But in my opinion, Aaron Donald might be the better card, but Miles Garrett's going to have slightly more athleticism. And that's kind of just what it comes down to with them. Defensive tackle, this new John Randall's looking nice, in my opinion. Great athleticism. Great everything, great finesse. But now, finesse moves important. Not many defensive tackles get that 99 finesse. So, power up and chemmed up. He's going to be a 99 overall defensive tackle. He's going to get to an 87 speed, which is really fast. He's going to get like a 97, 98 block shed. And he's going to end up with a 99 finesse move. The card overall is going to be a great pass rushing, run stuffing defensive tackle that you really just can't deny. Now, Alex Wilson linebacker, I really do like Ted Hendricks. I really think he's a monster, especially because you can play him in zone and you can play him in the run. Now this is like a do-it-all kind of guy. He's not like a he's not he's not your difference maker. He's a guy that could just he plays the role of what you need him to play in your team. But if you guys want like a difference maker, like a pass rusher extraordinaire, you gotta come here. This new Von Miller card is probably gonna be the move for most people, or the new Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack's great, obviously, but he's kind of unrealistic at the LTD price. So let's go with someone like Von Miller, who you can get for a very cheap, cheap price. Like once it's looking like one seventy-four thousand. So Von Miller. You're gonna end up getting a 99 power move powered up with like a 93 speed great play rec great finesse and have good block shed overall just a great card in my opinion and he's pretty cheap to be honest with you guys now middle linebacker here's the thing i'm waiting for some better ones i personally am not a fan of some of the linebackers they have out triple model of course is the best linebacker guys if you can get your hands on this guy greatest linebacker in madden power speed sorry sprinter and john madden gonna have a 98 speed gonna have 99 excel Gonna have 99 tackle, 99 play rec, 99 hit power, 99 zone coverage. Gonna be able to play zone better than every cornerback in the game. Gonna hit better than every safety in the game. Gonna be faster than every wide receiver in the game. Guys, this card's nasty. And he's 5'10", which isn't the tallest, but he probably can jump. Like, probably has like a 99 jump. Card's crazy. Uh, Lanier's not bad. If Lanier's the kind of guy, though, that I wouldn't want to... I really wouldn't want to use her. I feel like I can get faster out of the players, but... He's like that guy that you just put there. Like he's like that second linebacker. He's gonna have 99 block shed. He's gonna be able to stop the run. Gonna be able to lay the boom. Gonna be able to play in zone a little bit. If you can get him in Palomalo, that's fine. But I'm personally waiting for a slightly faster middle linebacker. Those two are great. Now, right outside linebacker, guys. When you come on down, I mean, right now Clowney's probably the best one. But I personally wouldn't use Clowney. What I would do is I would wait for Lawrence Taylor. So let's compare it right now. Clowney to Taylor. Right now, compared to my Lawrence Taylor, Clowney only beats him by two speed, uh, two excel. He loses in strength, same tackle, beats him by uh, nine play rec, four block shed, and three power move, and, but less by five finesse move. Now, finesse move can be more important for a speed rusher. So what's going to end up happening is this next Lawrence Taylor is going to have on him probably a plus two speed. This new Lawrence Taylor is probably going to end up with like a 92 speed. Oh, okay, probably they're going to have a similar speed. The Lawrence Taylor will be more athletic at the end of the day. He's going to be way stronger, going to have a way better tackle, going to have a slightly less play rec, going to have the same block shed, going to have the same power move, but he's going to have a 99 finesse move powered up and chemmed up. So that Lawrence Taylor is going to be the greatest finesse move rusher in Madden right now, probably out of the right outside linebacker spot. So I'd wait for him personally, and we know he's coming. At cornerback, guys, there's some great cornerbacks in Madden right now. Like Craven LeBlanc's great, but let's keep him out of here because no one's spending 1.7 mil on Craven LeBlanc. Although it's really not crazy expensive compared to the other ones. Obviously, he's great. So actually, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put him in here. I was gonna, I had him on. I was gonna take him off, but 99 zone, 99 man, 99 press. 
sprinter everything he's gonna end up with all 99 it's gonna be almost all 99s gonna be a great card and his catching's pretty good as well the card's great honestly he's just very expensive now next on this list i think you need night train lane he's a must for all teams powered up and chemmed up he will end up with a 98 speed 97 excel 90 uh probably like a 98 jumping 97 agility gonna end up with a 90 like 7 play rec 99 zone coverage 96 man coverage and 97 press this card's gonna be so locked and you might say like oh but byron gets slightly better stats you know byron doesn't have an 83 catch and byron also doesn't have a 95 hit power which is and, and can return and has a juke and has everything else like that that's the beauty of this card 95 hit power this card literally can do everything he's like a linebacker at a cornerback that should be a safety very weird and for the third guy I, i'd say go Dion. i think Dion sanders is always the third guy but again i'm not gonna go over stats because in my opinion i think you want to wait for the next Dion, which i'll show you guys right here i have Dion. i think you want to wait for his i think he might be getting an ultimate legend uh that Dion will probably be even better but the issue with Dion sanders is upgrading him feels like a waste of money because you spend like 300k to upgrade him a 400k and all you get is a plus on the press it goes like from 83 press and 86 and he still can't press so like like there's just no point he has everything 99 that you care about in his card already which is always the issue with Dion by this point in the year free safety personally i'm waiting for in my opinion this is what you gotta do don't buy any other safety right now in my opinion like there's all these safeties here obviously they're all great in my opinion you go ahead you power up sean taylor 96 and you wait for his ultimate legend this next sean taylor's gonna have 99 speed 99 excel gonna have like a 94 tackle 95 play rec 99 pursuit gonna probably have a nine probably like an 88 man coverage 99 zone 99 hit power this next sean taylor is gonna be an absolute monster he's tall as hell trust me wait for the next sean taylor and you can and the one i currently use is still amazing you can just power that one up and then for the strong safety you could use your pat tillman don't get me wrong pat tillman's great but ed, ed reed's a monster ed reed's great like it, I, in my opinion you want to either get ed reed or use your pat tillman but I, obviously if you're if you're going budgety pat tillman is going to be a lot cheaper because he is free so see it for yourself if you want more speed and more coverage you go ed reed if you want more physicality more more hip power more tackling more linebacker status you go tillman now if you want to be smart you put ed reed at safety and you put pat tillman like a box safety and you know keep him in the box linebacker then they're both monsters but guys better for the video hope you enjoyed today's video if you are new to the channel make sure you're down below hit that subscribe button turn on the bell boys come join the family thank you so much for watching give the video a big thumbs up and comment down below if you did enjoy i'm out peace